Oh gosh. Whoops. Hey everyone! Uh, more Book of Rain Tales 2, because, you know, why not? Because it's awesome. Um, and we can now switch between both um, Wilbur and Ivo, and right now we're Wilbur. Um, we need a joke, I think, for the gods down there, and a tuning fork? I wonder if Ivo knows any jokes. Ivo? What? Did you know that there's a temple under the city? It's dedicated to an evil deity called the Nameless One. Well, that's not really his name, of course. He has a name, and it isn't the Nameless One, but... I know the legends, but what sort of temple are you talking about? There were people who worshipped the Nameless One. They built a temple using a machine. Maybe they wanted to bring him back to this world. I'm also pretty certain it's where Remy found the magic wand. Oh, then you should take a closer look at the temple. I'm working on it. I found Remy's shrinking ring. I can use it to get back to the school through the pipes. Great, that should help us. I oh, I already forgotten about that. Do you know any good jokes, Ivo? Are you kidding me? Nope. Is that, are you kidding me, of course I know good jokes, or are you kidding me, how should I know any good jokes? Are you pulling my leg? Why in the name of all the gods do you want me to tell you a joke? Funny you should mention gods, they are involved. One in particular. <clears throat> Could you please just ask around? I need a really good joke, one that can make a stone statue of a god laugh. Of course. Thanks! I need something that makes sound, not, not just any, you know, music. A tuning fork or something like that. <sighs> I'll see what I can find. Thanks! The island is supposed to be guarded by a ghost. I find that disturbing. Can't you cast a spell over it? You must know that. I never looked into that. I always thought that was too scary. Oh, I'll see what I can do. Yeah, do that. I have to get going. Don't get caught. Good luck. Keep your ears stiff. Um, let's go look in the school. Hmm, but with Remy's shrinking ring, I could fit. Whee! Are we small? Are we small? Oh! <gasps> Wait. Okay. A lot of the stuff here is made out of this smooth, shiny material. I don't know what it is, but I do know I find it kind of eerie. I wouldn't want to run into this doll in the dark. Yeah. Hmm, the doll has a ring on its back. I wonder if you... Love me! Not again. I've done a poo-poo. <laughs> Shall we sing a song? Hmm? Professor Weathervane? Ah, uh, um, it's, it's not what it looks like. So you're not trying to liberate the frog? Nope. So, well, maybe there is something to it. You, you're not calling for help. It is my duty. Um... How can you work for Van Buren? Don't you know what she's doing to this city and its people? I... it... it is not for me to judge her politics. I'm just a simple civil servant who must obey his superiors, no matter what they do. Even if she's as mad as a cuckoo clock? Since the death of the Archmage, Sybil Van Buren is my new employer and it's my duty to serve her loyally. I didn't transform the Archmage. I hope you know that. Of course I know that. The very idea is... Ah. Archmage Alistair was Professor Doctor 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 of Magic. You are just a graduate mage and not even a real teacher. 
It's completely implausible that someone like you could defeat the Archmage in a duel. Um, thanks. It was Chantal Van Buren. She cast a spell on him with that cursed wand, just like she's done with everything else, right? That's right. But how does she do it? It's impossible for a little girl to have such power. We believe that she... Stop. I... I don't want to know. I'm a loyal civil servant. I work for the council leader. The less knowledge I need to conceal from her, the better. Please, Headmaster. You could do so much good. You could start by taking the chains off the jar. Betray my mistress? Never. However, well, it's time to call it a day. I will lock the door and admonish the guard troll to be vigilant. But the fact that I've seen a gnome here, perhaps I'll forget to mention that. That's very kind of you. I shall have to write a negative evaluation in my own file for this. Good evening, Professor, and good luck. Aww. Block. Lock yourself. No one is to get into the office, you hear? Whew, that could have backfired badly. Being rat size isn't all it's cracked up to be. <laughs> you think? <laughs> Aw, block. Okay, we're not leaving the staff room. Hey, strange bee. What a hideous creature. Nah. Uh, better not get too close to the monster. It might have a taste for gnomes. Are you sure? I don't want to leave the staff room. Glockenspiel. Parents often say it looks like a bomb exploded here. Usually it's just an exaggeration, but here it might actually be the case. Take it. Ooh. Okay. Troll. Hey. I hate you, Slate. Mm. It's an old model. I wonder if... Oh, it's not that Slate. Welcome back, oh, Professor it is. Professor Weathervane. <sighs> it's my old Slate! The traitorous thing! I only do what I am programmed to do. All evil is on your side of the screen, not mine. Who ordered you to deceive me? Username, Monkus Rules 1337. I see! <laughs> of course he's 1337, Monkus Rules Elite, or whatever it stands I'll for. I'll take you with me, but don't get any big ideas about me trusting you again. Here is just leave, which we do not want to do. Hello, frog. Pretty thick chains, and I suspect Van Buren enchanted them to protect them against an open spell. We'll get you out of there, Archmage Alistair. We just have to find a way to get rid of the chains. <laughs> Ribbit! Ribbit! This time, I'm just going to take the whole tin. It's for a good cause. Whole tin of what? Oh, fireplace travel powder. Oh, yeah, we need to give that to Ivo. <gasps> yeah. Hmm, lots of papers, quills, ink stains, and the like. Nothing interesting. Are you sure? Oh, I can pick something up over here. Take the speaking dolly. If I have to. Yep, you do. Alright, we're done here. Go back to the underground. I guess I could try walking out of the office, but I'm pretty sure it's not gonna work. <laughs> or it's gonna be bad. But I mean, sure, we can try just to see what happens. Hmm, but with Remy sh Probably best if I leave the way I came. Yeah, that's what I And I'm what not I going back to town until I've saved Remy. Yeah, that's what I thought. Okay, cool. Cool, cool, cool. Good. So we have powder for... Pretty cheap thing. Oh, well. 
Should be good enough for a scale, though. Uh, let's give the powder to Ivo. Ivo! Yes! I borrowed a box of fireplace travel powder from the headmaster's desk. Brilliant! I can really do with that! Cool. Okay, can I give her something else? Just but there's another problem! Headmaster Brock has locked the door to the staff room! So what are we gonna do now? It's easy! I'll send up the magic slate! It can repeat the door code! Oh. Okay. Cool. Don't trust it though. Uh, does she want the dolly? Maybe? Yes! I have a doll for you! Really? What do I want with a doll? What am I supposed to do with it? Why did you take it if you didn't need it? It gives me the willies. So I thought to myself, you'd better take it with you. That makes no sense at all. Do you, uh, want it or not? All right. Lol. Um, okay. Let's go see if we can use the Glockenspiel. Or if it's not good enough for her. Now you go, Wilbur. Listen to this! Oh, the music! Notes! Semi-quavers! Vibrato. It's all coming back to me. Not bad, eh? I'm a natural. Oh. 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 That's it. I thank you, mortal. Cool. I'm going to practice every day so that I don't forget the notes again. Oh, great. <laughs> Unless I counted wrong, I've now done three of you a favor. So? How do I cross the water? Walk. Ha ha! You might be able to walk on water, but I can't. And what about ice? Ice? Haven't you noticed how cold it is here? Wait, I don't need a joke? Oh. It doesn't look like ice. So? And you couldn't have just told me that. Would it have been as satisfying that way? Probably not, but you'd better hope nothing happened to Remy just because you delayed me. But, but, no, 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 no. I want the joke. There has to be a joke for real that you can get. yoo -hoo. Oh, young friend. No. Oh, I can, I can give him jokes, okay. So... I heard this joke. I'm listening. So, three, no, wait, two, um, pieces of coal. One says, hello. Whereupon the other says, ah, go away, you're substituted. Are you, are you sure that's how the joke goes? I, I want to retract my contribution. I thought you might. I know a joke. What do rats like playing most? Hide and squeak. <laughs> <laughs> that was terrible. So predictable, so inelegant, so... Uh... I thought that was very funny. Me too. 
Well, which once again proves how little you all know. No, I didn't laugh. I have to go. I want to get the last joke. I need to know what joke he's gonna laugh at. Like, we need the last joke. Hi, Fo! I mean, I was gonna walk around asking people about jokes, hopefully, which is gonna be awesome, so. Let's just put Wilbur over here and change to Ivo. Ask about jokes, please. Hi, you two. Oh, hello. Don't ask me why, but Wilbur wants to learn a few good jokes. Do you know any? But of course. After being examined, the patient asks, Doctor, is there anything you can do for me? To which the doctor replies, Certainly, I'll prescribe you a couple of mud baths. And they'll help? Of course, the doctor says, it'll help you to get used to the feeling of being buried. <laughs> oh, I still remember the damn path. For a long time, I thought if only you'd let yourself be cremated. Oh, okay, thanks. I bet you know all about ghosts, don't you? I used to share a flat with some. Do you happen to know how to cast a spell on a ghost? Hmm? No, no idea. But I do know that ghosts don't stick to cleaning rosters, and they don't use doors, and that could really give you a terrible shock. Mm -mm. I've got to go now. Bye, you two. Bye. Bye. All right, cool. Give me jokes, peeps. Give me jokes. Hello, the fireplace. Sloth, Blout. Oh, never mind. Ah, Princess Ivo. Boom. This, well, this might seem a little bit weird, but could you please tell me a joke? Why weird? A joke can lift the spirits in times of great adversity. No joke, no joke. <laughs> oh, Blout, your jokes are always so... Lewd. That's why good jokes. Two statues stand in park, face each other for hundreds of years. One be young man, other be young woman. Both is naked. <laughs> Here we go again. Then God appear. He says, I grant you biggest wish. Both can leave plinth for one hour. Both disappear in bushes, rustling, whispering, giggling. Man pants, ten minutes left. She reply, okay, now you hold pigeon and I sit on it. <laughs> Princess, really? Oh, apologies. <laughs> He's totally going to laugh at that joke. You don't happen to have another joke for me, do you? No, lots more jokes with naked people. The princess doesn't want to hear them. Anyway, you've already had your turn. Now I will tell a real joke. Ahem. <clears throat> the town guard asks the mage head of a two-headed ogre, so you deny breaking a fence post in two on your brother's head? To which the ogre replies, I can't deny that, but I didn't do it on purpose. So you didn't intend to hit him? Oh, I did. But I didn't intend to break the fence post in the process. <laughs> Not fine, very funny. Of course it's funny. Thanks very much for the joke, Sloth. I will endeavor to remember it. You see. I could do with knowing how to cast a spell on a ghost. Do you know anything about that? I know, I know, very scared of ghosts. As you know, one fears nothing more than the unknown. And if one knows nothing, one fears everything. Ghosts are evil, steal blout socks, but always just left one. Of course, it's always just our left socks that are missing. That's your side. I look after my socks. So what about ghost spells then? I know you can keep ghosts at bay with certain symbols. Blout has protector amulet with symbols on. About 
the amulet. Protect me from ghosts. Works good. Not attacked by ghosts so far. Could I borrow it, please? No. Then Blout unprotected. The amulet depicts the magic circle, but it's not magical. Blout got it from the bargain bin for three copper pieces. It could still come in useful. It's mine! Won't give! I would try to persuade him, but it's hopeless. He's almost as scared of ghosts as he is of the young Van Buren. Blout, how about I give you something in exchange for the amulet? I've got um, a, a stone which protects you from the evil eye. Ever since I've had it, I've not been hit by any curses. Give you five gold pieces for it. I don't want to sell the stone. I want to swap it for your amulet. But Blout want to be protected from ghosts and evil eye. <sighs> A life could depend on you giving me that amulet. Blout's life depend on keeping it. Perhaps ghosts come tonight. <sighs> this isn't going to work. Thanks for the chat. You were like a beacon of light in the darkness of night, princess. Right, well, we have more... Um, more... Uh, jokes. Well, I could throw the powder into the fire, but what then? How do I make sure that I come out exactly where I want to come out? That is a good question. I don't know. Well, wait, wait a minute, wait a minute, can I... Ooh, that doll's voice makes the hairs on my neck stand on end. Can I use it to... No? Okay, cool. Thought I could maybe use it to, um, trick Blout. Oh, here's more fire. Um Oh yeah, that's true. There's no one here. Let's see if we can talk to the troll for some reason. No entry! Hello. Do you want this dolly? I have to drop this off. What is it? A present for Chantelle Van Buren. She requested it. Take, take it away! I would have taken it into the staff room, but as you don't want to let me in there... <laughs> Are you my mummy? No. I love you. Make, make, make it stop! <gasps> oh, it's gonna hug you! Shall we sing a song? Oh, how I love having a friend! Turn it off! Oh, she'll stop of her own accord in a few days' time. I need Patty! I'll smash it! And what would the little Chantelle say about you destroying her new toy? You know, Chantelle, the Queen of Pink and Fluffy. <laughs> Whee! Blackmail, eh? Yep. That ain't gonna work with me. You sure? Ha! I can't hear anything! Nah, <laughs> that means I will be able to go back. Ramda, to... you are the worst guard in the world! Ha, he can't hear anything anymore. Will you please let me into the staff room? Okay, so if I do go into the... I can probably sneak past him if I get into the library. So that's good. That's good. I think. Um, hey, Wilbur. Talk to me. Wilbur? Yes? 
I've never used fireplace travel powder before. How does it work? You have to throw it in a fire. And then you walk into the flames and concentrate hard on the symbols of the fireplace in which you want to come out. Aha. Uh -huh. And those are? Um, the icons on the fireplace in the library, you know. I've never been there. Have you not memorized them? Of course. They were... Ah. Uh, none of these. I'm pretty sure it's none of these. Eagle, mole, and... Penguin? Was that a question? Uh, no. Wilbur! Well, it, it might have been an owl, a worm, and a rat. Oh, great. Or maybe a lion, a polar bear, and a caterpillar. Oh, I'll find out soon enough. I've got this joke about a patient and a doctor. Who would have thought? Tell me. After being examined, the patient asks, Doctor, can you help me? The doctor replies, of course, I'm going to prescribe you a mud bath. And it'll help, asks the patient. Of course, the doctor says, it'll help you get used to the feeling of being buried. Is that a good joke? I don't know. There's only one way to find out. Blouts told me a joke, but it's a bit... Mm, coarse. Perhaps a god of humour likes that sort of thing. Tell me. Okay. He probably does. There are these two statues, and they've been standing in a park opposite each other for hundreds of years. A young man and a young woman, both naked. One day, a god appears and fulfills their greatest wish. They're allowed to leave their plinths for an hour. They immediately disappear into the bushes. There's rustling, whispering, giggling. Then the woman gasps, we've only got ten minutes left. And the young man replies, Okay, let's switch positions. You get hold of the pigeon, and I'll crap on it. <laughs> That's good. It's got gods and statues in it. That's all for now. See you later. I like how she changed the joke. <laughs> what? Um. Okay, cool. Wilbur? If we can, Wilbur... Look at... Hmm. Is the poster left here? No, it's not. Crud. Poster's not here. Okay, cool. Alright. God of jokes. Laugh. I'll find Remy. Tim A laugh! I made this a funny joke for the statues. Now he's going to be telling it to the other statues for about 300 years. Yoo-hoo! Oh, young friend! Would you like to hear a joke? I have a joke! Hit me! This is a joke about a doctor and his patient. I think it's the only one of its kind. After being examined, the patient asks, Doctor, can you help me? The doctor replies, Of course! I'm going to prescribe you a mud bath. And it'll help? Asks the patient. Of course, the doctor says. It'll help you get used to the feeling of being buried. Mmm, <laughs> 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 that was even worse than the first one. Come on, that was good. Oh, sure. What does the god of humor know about jokes? Did you see me laughing? No. I know a joke with statues and gods. I'm sure you like it. Oh, that sounds good. For hundreds of years, these two statues are in a park opposite each other. One is a young man, the other a young woman. Both are naked. So one day a god appears and grants them their greatest wish. They are permitted to leave their respective plinths for an hour. Both immediately disappear into the undergrowth. There's rustling, whispers, giggles. We've still got ten minutes, the young man gasps. And she replies, great, let's switch places. You hold the pigeon and I'll crap on it. <laughs> really? <laughs> that wouldn't even bring a tired smile to the faces of your audience. But... Well, to an audience with a sense of humor. There's only one of them here, and he didn't laugh. Well, I thought my jokes were good, and the others laughed. Oh, that's irrelevant. I have to laugh. 
But you only seem to laugh at your own jokes. Because they're the best ones. But that's... Wait a minute. Ah. Two trolls are looking up into the night sky and one says to the other, What do you think? Is there life on the moon? <laughs> and what does the other one say? Of course, there's a light on. <laughs> there's a light on! <laughs> oh, the moon is shining and, and, and the troll thinks! <laughs> oh, no. Oh, that was a good joke, my friend. You made me laugh. Oh, so now I'll aid you, mortal. Now, I've even done all four of you a favor, even though you weren't very helpful. The mark of a true hero is always to do more than he needs to, and to help everyone that he is able to help. We should reward him. Yes, please. Could you bring Remy here? Or transform the Archmage back? It wouldn't make for a particularly good story if a god suddenly intervenes and solves all the problems. Yes, it would. Yes, it would. <laughs> but it would be funny. Bang! Story over! Exactly. <laughs> we want to present you with the laurel wreath of Hybniss. Hey, we don't want to do that. Well, I think that's a good idea. Me too. Take it, Wilbur, and wear it with pride. It is a sign you are a friend of the gods. Nah. <laughs> Thanks. Very well. But look after it. He's got a nice receding headline there. Given that I had to impress four gods to get this, I'm slightly underwhelmed <gasps> by what I got. He's got a new hat! Oh, ho, 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 ho. All right, can we just walk over the lake? Oh, I can look in there, though. Remy must have figured out that the lake was frozen on his first expedition. He probably went straight to the temple. Enter the lake. No, no, no. I wanna, I wanna look in the, the thingy over here. There. Hmm. What's up with this creepily decorated alcove? Is there a statue missing here? I wouldn't say missing. Where there is light, there is shade. Where there is good, there must also be evil. The Nameless One was probably the most powerful amongst us. Whenever anyone did anything evil, people believed that it was his fault. Oh, and because everyone believed in him. He became more and more powerful. It was simple for everyone. They could blame all their bad deeds on him. Where is he now? They banished him to the dungeon dimension. It's probably the greatest story of all time. That will be told another time. He was banished, and many small gods were put in his place. Murphy, the god of stupid coincidences. Monday, the god of bad moods. Mm. Alki, the god of drunkenness. Hundreds, thousands of little gods that people could blame when they did something bad or stupid. Cool. Too well. Enter the lake, Wilbur. Enter the lake. Hmm. It looks like water, but it's actually ice. Child's play. Ah, whoa, ah, whoa. Yeah. Uh, yeah. No yeah. problem at all. Uh huh. Mm-hmm. Ooh. Oh, hey, Remy. I think Remy! you might... No, Wilbur. It's a trap. Oh, hello. You... You will bring me the wand that this thief stole years ago. Uh... Who... Who are you, or what are you? I am the gatekeeper. You! You're the ghost of one of those mages that wanted to free the Nameless One, right? The Nameless One must never be allowed to enter this world. No? I mean, you're so right. 
Neither I nor Remy want that, so why are you fighting us? He stole the wand. The wand is the key. Bring me the key! Oh. We don't have that much time. We have to... Your friend is growing weaker by the second. Bring me the wand, or he will die. But we can't! Ah! All right, all right. I'll think of something, Remy. I know you will, Wilbur. Cool. I have to get Remy out of there as quickly as possible. He seemed so weak. Maybe... Maybe I can somehow sneak past the ghost. Or... Um... No. Hey, gods. I was in the temple and there's a terrifying ghost. That's great. That gives it a little pep. A little pep? My friend is dying. And you have only a short amount of time to save him. This is exciting, isn't it? This is all just a game to you, isn't it? But rats are dying here. If something happens to Remy because you wouldn't help me, then... Ah! Bugger this for a box of frogs. I don't have time to waste on you gods. I've problems to solve. What's the matter with him? I've had enough of gods. I have to take care of Remy. All right, climb up the rope. Let's talk to Timmy. Timmy? Yeah? I've... well, I, um... I'm still looking for your uncle. Don't worry. I'm sure you'll find him soon. Yeah. Yeah, sure. If he knew his uncle was caught in a trap and badly injured, he'd be sick with worry. Or worse, he could march straight to the temple himself. I've got to get back. You can do it. Alright, let's, um... I'm just gonna stand myself over here. And we will break and continue in the next episode. So thank you all very much for watching, and I'll see ya.